We don't fix cars, we flip cars. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another Copart walk around. Special thanks to Copart, man. Um, up bright and early, man. We got about to get right into it, man. I'm feeling really energized today so we about to get right into it check out a couple cars man make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell join the hustle nation why don't you make sure y'all follow me on the gram link in the description we hustle daily.co and make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if you're interested in learning how to buy and sell cars or interested in learning how to properly inspect cars i got all that in the academy you know what i mean y'all know how i like to do it i like to buy cars that's already running don't put no money into them and just flip my money you know what i'm saying like i told y'all we don't flip cars we don't fix cars we flip cars that's right so that's my motto so look check it out oh we got somebody got hit in the back of the corolla but here we go we got a pontiac vibe i have not had a pontiac vibe before so we're gonna check this one out let's see what we got Dang, what they did to the what you call it but it's some nice interior in here just couldn't uh help but see that interior this little volvo whatever this is but back to the regular schedule program um so we got a pontiac vibe hello stickers on the back at least they put them on the window and not on the back of the car because you know like when the sun be hitting and this stuff you can't get the coloration back i don't know maybe you could buff it or something like that i don't know wax buff i don't know come on got spider webs come on damn look at that Three hundred thousand miles, two hundred thousand, two hundred ninety nine thousand. God dang on my house! Let's see. Oh wow, that just really broke. Okay. What that three hundred thousand miles sound like? Sounds like it cranked right up. Sounds like it got. Looks like it got a check engine light. I don't know why this seemed like this car has been here before or I've looked at it before or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can unlock that door. And it still don't open. That's locked going up there. I should be. Yeah. I don't know. But that door don't open as y'all can see. Overall, the car looks good. Paint fading. I don't know, man. I think this car been here before. I feel like it's been here before. I'm going to see what that check engine light say, man. I ain't going to waste no time on this thing. And then I'll be right back with y'all. You know what I mean? So, because I just feel like this has been here before. So, let me check this thing right on out. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, Hustle Nation, we got a... Lexus ES, but I'm digging those wheels on the ES. Like those wheels look nice. Um, it says F on there, so this is the ES F Sport. I don't think I've seen one. Is it? Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. It's the ES F Sport. ES350 F Sport. I'm digging those wheels on there from the factory. Not all the wheels be looking nice on the E to me. Plain door panels. Plain, 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 plain. Leather. It's plain, but they nice, like I told y'all. They plain, but they nice at the same time. But as you can see, we got a roof. We got the back. Back of the lack. And they give you the F Sport on the seat i like that it wants to crank so hey why not why not why not oh i don't give you no type of beefy noise nothing okay nice little okay 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 I see you. Y'all didn't see the screen, but the screen was doing the same thing. 
All right. But y'all see the damage though on there. I didn't know they even had the F Sport in this thing right here. Let's see what year this one is. 2019. So let me look at the motor actually. Since it's open. Yep, you see it. So we got the 3.5 liter. I think that's what that is. Should be right. Yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. This thing is... I thought these were real, real drive. I thought the Lexus IS was real, real drive. So now this has got me curious on if they are because this is a front wheel drive right here. So now I don't really know if the Lexus is a real, real drive. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. The same year Lexus, the same like 2019, 2018 Lexus IS are those real, real drive. I think the GS is real, real drive. But as you can see, we both can see that that's not real, real drive. Let's keep moving. Well, we got a Lexus IS right here. I'll show y'all what body style it is before. This is the one I was talking about. So let's see if this is rear wheel drive. I like the wheels they got on there. Pretty cool. It says Bio. Hold on, hold my breath. never know <laughs> I say I hold my breath you never know and this is in fact real wheel drive so why did they make the ES front wheel drive and this rear wheel drive and you can tell because the motor is not like sideways you know what I mean like the motor is you can see the motors in the front let me make sure I'm not tripping. I'm gonna make sure y'all yeah, make sure I'm not tweaking. I could just sworn that the motor and everything was just on the side. Hold up, we're gonna make sure y'all hold up. Yeah. So yeah, see, why did they make this? You see it? Why did they make this real front wheel drive? But they made the Lexus wheel wheel drive. Y'all let me know in the comments below now. It's like you don't even really want that. You want this thing right here. Do some donuts and all of that, you know? All right, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think, though. Why y'all think they did that? All right, coming over here, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Ah, oh, man. Flat tire. 137 on the miles. Is this the one? <laughs> let me make sure. Yeah, that's the one. Stuff be looking so much different from the pictures. I'm not sure if it's the rocks. They got that stance like that. You see the wheel is kind of tilted a little bit. This is probably, let me see what's going on on this side. It might just be the rocks though. But you don't know for sure. You see we got a flat tire. Make it, maybe it's making it link like that. What the heck is this? It look clean. Oh, I got a bad water smell in here. What's this the little front thing? It smells like water though, so we ain't gonna mess with it. Got some spider webs there. Other than that, the seats look cool. Let's see if it let me see. Yeah, it ain't got no power or nothing. Nah. Alright, y'all, let's keep moving. Waste no time. Alrighty, Heidi, we got a what do we got? A 2005 Subaru Forester, 2.5 liter, 157,000 miles on this one. Oh, I just tripped. UCLA Subaru. Let's see what the Subaru got, baby. Open it up. Subaru's the interior is just super plain, but you know, when you keep it clean and everything, they be looking decent to me. I don't know why I like the simple and plain interior. Nothing in the back, nothing in the back. Do we got some power? Oh, yeah. Y'all like how I hit that note? I said, oh, yeah. Let's see what we got, babe. Oh, that was spider. Let's see what we got, baby. Hey, look good, look good in the hood. 
Let's crank this thing up. They could have the little center console kind of dirty a little bit, but it's all good. Matter of fact, you don't mind if I reach over there, do you? Like Dory. Do you? Do you? Do you? Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta get on that side. I wasn't trying to get on that side, man. Got the little bar thing at the top. Feel me? Let's see. Oh, they hit it with the duct tape. Hit it with the duct tape on the bumper. Let's see, man. Let's not waste no time Let's get in this thing. Bling, bling. Steering wheel. Trying to do it with. Don't you look at that? Check engine light on. Let me be. Let me check that. Be right back. Yep, and it doesn't take me long. I got like four codes on there, so y'all know we don't want to mess with that. Just I'll peek up under the hood. Just to peek up under there. So yeah, the same old motor that they always been using. Y'all know they use these in the diesel trucks, the Subaru motors. Not this motor, but, you know, like the Subaru motors. I did not know they used that in the diesel truck, like the Chevy diesel trucks. Like the uh, older Chevy trucks, diesel 2000, 2000 model and stuff like that. I did not know that. But we got, uh, like, two more cars to check out. Let's go check them out. All right. 2008. Oh, look at them. 2008 model. 202,000 miles. I did not know I had that many miles on it. Let me go back and actually look at that. Yeah, it actually does. But it's a clean truck. Doesn't look like it has 200,000 on it. Okay. Body looks good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seat leaning back a little bit. I don't see no power that came on. They give you a sunroof. They give you a nice little middle console. Let's go in the front. Let's see if it cranks up. If not, just keep it moving, y'all. We gotta keep it moving if it don't crank up. Oh, I see some numbers on there. I think they got like 400, oh, I gotta look. I gotta tell y'all in a minute. I think they got like $400 pre-bid on it. Oh, that motor ticked a little bit. Check engine light on. Let me check that real quick. Okay, we just checked the light. I was sitting here for a minute. thought I smelled something. So let's see if I actually smell something or am I tripping? I know I popped that hood. Man. I know I popped that hood. Thought I did. Nope, I didn't. So I thought I smelled, smelled some oil, so let's just see up under here real quick. And they don't got no money on it. I thought they had money on it. That was on another car. Oh, God, I'm tripping all over the place. See smoke? See it? Yep, 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 yep. Now, some of y'all might be like, man, that's not that serious, man. It's probably a uh, oil cover gasket, valve cover gasket, and all that. Hey, I feel you, man. But we don't fix cars, we flip cars. Oh, wow, that's new. They got the Viper SRT. the wing on the back 74,000 miles big door that's a huge door that's crazy stick shift 05 SRT 10 I don't think I've ever even seen one of these motors definitely not going to crank up for me that sucks Ooh, don't act like you don't see that SRT 10 
So I see they've been doing that uh, half leather, half suede thing they got going on. Only thing about this thing is it only the, it's only the two door, but other than that, oh wow, they got the start engine thing. I guess they put that right there because it actually does have a key. We gotta check out this motor. I don't even think I've seen an SRT 10 before. Stick shift, not my thing. That thing lets back. Let's see what we got. I don't know what this is about. Big boy wheels on it. Big boy wheels on it. Okay, okay, big boy wheels. Those back lights look kind of mean right there. The lights like shark teeth a little bit. Got the stripes going down the back. Got the wing on the back. SRT 10 badge. We're missing a tail light. A little swiped up right there. Other than that, oh man, I walked right past it, didn't I? Yeah, walk right past it. There's the damage right there. The damage is kind of bad, huh? I like that right there. That joint cool. Dang! I have never seen one of these motors in person before. Y'all see what's going on? They got the Viper on that joint, man. They ain't playing. Big intake. Big intake. Cold air intake that thing is huge right there i think this thing looks pretty cool i've only seen like a couple of these on the street though what y'all think about it would y'all take one of these let me know in the comments below that's that v10 joint yes sir and just like that hustle nation it's gonna be a wrap for today's video man make sure you guys like comment subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already if you enjoy this content man i appreciate every single one of y'all just like i appreciate Copart, man. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if you're interested in learning how to buy and sell cars. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's your boy, Ray. Big Play Ray. I'm out.